the event setup menu lets you configure in the NVR how you want to record things like motion and analytics. So in the event menu, under event setup, you can select the channel that you want. Then you'll see tabs for each analytic that camera has. In this example here, we have motion and tampering detection. The first step will then be to enable or check the box for motion detection that may be enabled already by default. And you'll see when you enable motion detection, you'll have one zone looking at the entire screen zoom. You can then click and drag to move that zone around, or you can click on the vertex, the points, and adjust the shape and size of that zone. Then you can go and you'll have the MD or motion detection type of do you want to have your zone being a detection area or a non-detection area. You can also add an area or reset it back to default. The object size lets you draw a box on the screen of what the largest and smallest object to be detected is. Anything smaller than the minimum, anything larger than the maximum will be ignored. This helps you to fine tune what the analytic or motion is looking for. We also have a detection level and a sensitivity that you can adjust to help you further fine tune what types of events will be triggered. We have the detection result overlay, which will overlay color-coded boxes showing you where the motion or analytics have triggered. This can be useful for fine-tuning the analytics. And we have activation time schedule to be able to tell the system when those analytics should take effect. Usually, you'll leave this at always, so that way the camera is always detecting the events. And then in the recorder, you can put it on a schedule of when it should take an action or when it should do something with that event. And then you would repeat these steps for each tab, for each type of analytic the camera has. For example, here showing tampering detection. Make sure you hit the apply button after you make any changes. That sends the change from the recorder to the camera where it's stored. The event rule setup allows me to configure specific events to take specific actions. I can edit the rules that are built in, changing the name, changing which cameras they affect, changing what the input trigger is, any of the analytics or hardware issues on the recorder, and then specifying the event action, a mobile push notification, an email displaying on the monitor, any of the actions that you see here. And we can assign each one to a schedule as well. And then you can turn any of the built-in events on or off. And then we have schedules that we can create, like I just said. You can specify what day of the week, what hour of the day they apply, and then those schedules will apply back to those event rules on the previous screen.